Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tech Gamers World. In this video, I'm going to provide you with a quick and easy, very basic, hands-on demonstration on how to install monitor arms on your desk. So let's get it started here. So why would you want to install monitor arms? Well, as you can see here, I've got two monitors that have their stands. Now, these monitors take up a ton of space on this desk. Now this desk is what I call a working desk. I basically use it for my YouTube channel when I'm doing hardware repairs, demonstrations, making some shorts, stuff like that. So space is a premium. This is not a very large desk and it's just a lower end desk from one of the local stores around here. So I wanna free up some space by using monitor arms. So monitor arms are an amazing piece of technology. They allow you to mount it to the desk and then install the monitors on them and then get rid of the stands so that you no longer have to have your monitors sitting on the desk wasting valuable desk space. So here I've got the monitor arms that we'll be installing today. These are from Hawano. This is a dual monitor arm that mounts to a desk. So it's very basic here and I will show you it now. So I'm not going to go into the particulars about the brands or which ones are the best. I personally happen to like Huano just for their quality builds and their materials. I've installed a ton of these for different clients, businesses, friends, you name it. And they are just great. What you want to look for when you get a monitor arm <clears throat> is a couple of things. You want to make sure you read the specifications. What's the largest size monitor the monitor arm can hold? How much weight can the monitor arms hold? How many are included? This is a dual monitor arm system. So it'll hold two monitors. They make three monitor systems. They make vertical towers that you can install if you want your monitors to be stacked, you know, upright. If you typically, when you do a two system, you'll put them either side by side one vertical. I like the side-by-side -side method, which is what I'll show in this video. If you get a three monitor system mount arms, then you usually do two on the bottom, one on the top, or three across, either one. I personally like when you get a three monitor arm system that you do two on the bottom and then one on the top in the center. I think it looks really slick and it's great to leave things that you don't touch as much on the upper monitor, like monitoring systems, email, instant messengers, chats, stuff like that. So, but for the purposes of this video, we're going with a dual monitor arm here. So I'm gonna show you it now. Let's get it opened up here. So as I said, this is from Huano, and I feel that they are a good quality company and they make decent stuff. So monitor arms come in different flavors. You have to be very careful when you buy them and to look and see what the VESA specifications are. Most monitors are 75 by 75 or 100 by 100. So you always wanna look <clears throat> and make sure that the monitor arms you're buying are gonna work with the monitors that you have. Now, alternatively, if you already have the monitor arms and you're buying new monitors, you need to look at a couple things. One, you need to look at the size measured from the bottom left to the top right. This particular monitor arms support a maximum size of 27 inches from bottom left to top right. You also need to look at the VESA mounts on the monitor that you want to buy. You need to make sure that it's either 75 by 75, 100 by 100, or whatever matches the specifications of the monitor arm that you purchased. That's very important. And the weight. Weight is typically not a concern because these arms hold a significant amount of weight. You just obviously have to make sure that the monitors that you're buying do not exceed the total recommended weight from the manufacturer of the monitor arms. <clears throat> because if they do, you could risk collapse or breaking of the gas powered uh, spring arms. So here is the instruction manual for the Hawano dual monitor arm. It's here. 
shows you the two different mounting options, which I'll go into shortly. One is the desk mount, which is uses two here, or the other is the grommet mount. I'm gonna be showing you the grommet mount today, but I will explain the desk mount, and I'll explain why I use the grommet mount. So let's put the instruction book to the side. Here is an example of desk mounting that comes with the device, the uh, monitor arms. So shows you the different options you have available when you have, depending on what kind of desk you have. So option A is sometimes they want you to put a wood board in the back and then clamp the two clamps or the one clamp to the wood board. Other times you have a crossbar that you have so you don't need a wood clamp. It all depends on what kind of desk you have. Example two, for desks that is too thin to make a C-clamp on the desktop, they show you what you can do. You can mount up the device a little bit, the monitor arms. So there's all different types. For grommet mounting, you have different options. You have the types here. There's the desktop way, which is the one I prefer, and I'll explain why that is shortly here. So what you would need would be a long electric drill with a 15 30 second inch drill bit or 12 millimeter. And you have to make sure that the long bolt can go in the drilled hole. So we'll explain that a little bit here as we get into it. All right. So as I said, this is the Hawano dual monitor arm device. Here are the bolts that come with it and some mounting hardware, a large screw, an Allen key, and I'll get into this stuff here in a minute. Let's see what else we have here. So here is the base for the dual monitor arm. Go ahead here and take it out. So you can see this is the base that sits on top of your desk. It's got the parts where the monitor arms sit. And we've got different holes depending on what your mounting is going to look like. So we'll go ahead here and put that to the side. And we'll go ahead here and pull out the monitor arms. So here is one. As you can see, very nice setup here. They have places to run the cable down through, which you can take off by removing these screws. There's a screw for it here somewhere. There it is. These come off here. This comes off and you can run your cables down it. This is for adjusting pressure. So if you want your monitor to stay in a certain spot, you would tighten or loosen the screw and you can see it has a plus or a minus on it. So that's one. Let's go ahead here and take out the other. This is the same because, as I said, this is a dual monitor arm system. We have different clamps. These are the clamps that mount to the desk. And depending on your setup, you may or may not be using these. And put them off to the side. Here are more mounting brackets. And again, depending on which setup you use, you may or may not be using these. So we'll go ahead here and put these off to the side. And down at the bottom here, we have more of the arms. So these are the arms that actually connect to the base here. As you can see, they go in just like that. And they push in and then take some pressure to pull them out. So we'll go ahead and put these off to the side here. There's one, here's the other one. So as you can see, We've got the channel here to run your cables through and very nice matte black finish. Good quality metal. 
because again, they're going to be holding a little bit of weight. So let's go ahead in here and get this box out of the way and all the trash. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get your existing monitors out of the way. So let's go ahead and do that now. So these monitors are already disconnected. You can see they're not hooked up to anything. This is just a power cord. I will go ahead and remove. So we'll put these monitors off to the side here. Pull this out just a little bit. Drop that off behind the back. As you can see, we have the monitors we'll be using today. You can see the VESA mounts that I mentioned about. These are where the screw holes go in and the plate mounts to the back, just like that. So you'll see you have screws. Here, as you can see, this is the up side. It says up on it. So you would put it in just like that, depending on what your particular setup is. Every monitor is gonna have slightly different VESA mounts. So you need to make sure, again, that you do your due diligence to make sure that the mounts you're buying will fit the monitors that you have or are planning to purchase. Okay, so let's start talking a little bit here about how we're gonna mount the desk, the monitor arms on the desk. So there are a couple different ways. You can side mount it just like this, using the desk side as a support for the monitor and you clamp the C clamps onto the sides of the desk. I personally am not going to use that for this setup, but it is very easy to do. You just follow the instructions in the book and you're going to use these double clamps here to mount it to the desk underneath. Because when you do that, you, will, you need to have two mounts basically is what they're looking for. So, but for my case, I'm going to use the grommet holes. So, grommet holes, what are grommet holes? Grommet holes are holes, pre-drilled holes inside of a desk. Most desks, whether it's a straight desk or an L-shaped desk, come with a hole inside of it. Now, this particular desk has a cover in it for the holes. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out now. And as you can see... There is a little plastic rim inside here. Now these sometimes take a little bit of pressure to get out. You just weasel it out. Now I've got a nice open, this is a two inch grommet hole. So what's the benefits of using a grommet hole versus mounting it on the side? And here's my thoughts on it. Not everybody may agree with me, but this is my thoughts. When you mount monitor arms, what's the one thing that should be your primary focus is safety, followed by aesthetics. I think it looks better to have this like that in the corner than it is to have it like this. And safety, you're gonna get a really good solid grip through the largest portion of wood using the existing grommet hole. Now, why do I say that? If you clamp it onto the side, you have to use these hand tighten clamps that push up as you tighten them. And as we all know, you can over tighten these, you can strip the rubber, you know, you can strip the metal. Sometimes they don't clamp well to the side of the desk and the, the, the monitor arm will lean. You wanna be super careful when you're installing these that the monitor arm do not fall over because if they do, they could A, hurt someone, which is obviously we don't ever want to happen, and B, damage your equipment. So you need to make sure that this is installed in a super good and working manner that has safety in mind. So I'm going to go ahead here and use the grommet installation method for this. So what we need to do for the grommet method is actually super easy. I'm gonna just go ahead here and collect the parts that I need. So 
So here are the three parts that you need to install the monitor arms with the grommet style. We have the bolt. This bolt screws into the bottom of the monitor arm base. We have the holder. This will tighten to the bottom of the desk. And then we have the wing nut. This will hold everything in place. So this is all basically a toolless installation. Now, that actually brings up a good point. If you do not have grommet holes in your desk, you can certainly drill them. Just make sure you know what you're doing. If you want to drill a hole, the minimum size needs to be 15 by 32, 30 seconds. So, or 12 millimeters. You can use that drill bit to drill a hole in the desktop. But again, you need to make sure when you're drilling it that you know what you're doing and where you're doing it. And you want to have a good quality drill bit because if you use one that's, you know, rusted or dull, it could send your wood flying and make it splinter and crack, especially on these cheaper quality, uh, I don't want to say poorly manufactured, but cheaper quality compressed wood-ish style desks. Now, if you have a professional desk or a business desk like one of those big giant ones that's a whole nother conversation because sometimes what happens are the sides of the desks are too big to fit any kind of this and your only option is then to drill through the desk because again safety in mind there's minimum specifications that these clamps will work with so you need to do your little bit of research there to make sure you're buying the right one and if you're not comfortable installing it, see if you can get somebody to do it. If you work in a business, a maintenance man, your IT department, usually they will handle that kind of stuff for you. If you're a residential customer, get a friend, someone who's you know tech savvy to do that kind of stuff for you. But again, with just a little bit of uh, you know learning and effort, it can work out for you in your favor. So let's go ahead here and get this started. And then I'll show you at the end how you can connect everything. So what you need to do for a grommet mount is take the bolt, thread it into the center hole here. And you want to get it as tight as possible. Now, you can hand tighten it is fine as long as it's tight. If you want it to be tighter, you can go ahead and use a pair of pliers and grab onto it and tighten it. Just be careful not to thrip, strip the threads. So I'm gonna go ahead here and grab my pliers and just tighten this up to make sure that it is nice and tight. As you can see, I'm just clamping on to the bolt and then spinning the top until it won't go anymore. That's good enough. Now, as you can see, because I did not move the bottom one, I did not strip or damage the threads. And now we've got our bolt. So this bolt will go down through the grommet and pop out in the bottom. And then we'll go ahead and move the camera down to the bottom to show you how to mount it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this right here. Now, then you wanna kind of get it in your spot that you want it to be. So that looks good. So let's go ahead now and switch the camera down to the bottom so I can show you how to bolt it to the desk. Okay, so we are underneath the desk and we are ready to bolt the monitor arms to the desk. So it's actually very simple. What you need to do is just stick the plate, this plate up just like this so that it grabs on to the desk, just like that. So you can see that it's connected on both sides evenly. Now these plates fit a maximum of a two, two inch grommet. So if you have any larger than that, it will not work. And then what you need to do is just screw on the wing nut. And you can let the whole thing drop as you screw it up.
and it's just as simple as bringing it up. As you get it closer to the top, let go of the thing, the plate, and just keep spinning it. So now, as you get it up to the top, use two hands here to continue threading it up. And as it starts to get to the top, it'll tighten against the desk. Now what you wanna do before you get it super tight is to set your final placement. So I'm gonna go ahead here and check that the top is center and make sure that it's good. So that looks good, right? That looks good right there. Then all you have to do is just hold on to the bolt and tighten it up. Now you don't have to go crazy tight on it. As long as it has a good bonding, you can use a pair of pliers if you want to spin it tighter. Usually what I do is after I install the monitors, I'll come back and make sure that this is super tight. Yeah, see, it's not going anywhere. So there we go. We've now bolted the monitor arm base to our desk. So let's switch back up to the top now. Okay, so we've got the monitor arm base successfully bolted down to our desk. So now we're ready to install the arms. So this goes in two parts. One, you need to install the bottom portion of the arm. So the cable pathway faces down to the desk. The upper part faces up. So you want the decorative part up. You just, all you do is just stick it right in there and it clamps down in. So you can see here, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what I did. It goes just like that. Now we'll go ahead and install the other one. And you just push it in until you hear it snap. So as you can see, the monitor arms are now installed on the base. The base is mounted to the desk. So let's go ahead here and back off a little bit again. So the next part is to install the upper monitor arms that have the VESA mount. Now, you can do this in one of two ways. One, you can install the arm right now and then put the monitors on it. Or two, you can install the monitor on it and then put it on. If you're doing this by yourself and you don't have someone to help you hold the monitor, I highly recommend you install the VESA mount to the monitor before you put the arm on. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So again, you have to look at the different screws to determine which one fits your mounting needs. So for this particular one, it's gonna be these smaller screws right here. There are four holes on the back of the monitor. So I gotta go ahead here and find the four screws that I need. Three, four. And when you're gonna do this, you wanna look at the back of it. So you can see here, it says up. This faces up this side. So it's gonna go on just like this. Just like that right there. So what I like to do to make this easier is to get my trusty screwdriver. Make sure it fits the screws, which it does. Just hold the VESA mount up and put in the bottom screw first. Now 
and we'll leave it just loose. Go ahead and sit this just like that. Get the next one and put it up here just like this. And keep that one relatively loose. That will be enough to hold the monitor arm in place. Now you can do this any which way you're comfortable with. This is just the way I prefer to do it. You don't have to hold the monitor up to the vest amount while you're installing. You wanna leave the top too loose so that you can adjust the final placement, which we'll have to do to get the final screw in. And we go ahead, now that they're all in, we'll go ahead and tighten them down. Just hand tighten is fine. Until they go as far as they're gonna go, don't force it. Once they're as tight as they're gonna go, just make sure. And that feels good. And then again, the bottom two in a crisscross pattern. You wanna make sure that everything is tight and secure. So there we go. So now what you can do is you have to take off the base. Now, depending on your monitor, the base has come off in different ways. This one is kind of cheap and the base just slides down and comes off. There were no screws that held this particular one in. So then all you do at this point is just stick the arm on the base. So now we'll go ahead and swing it to the side. So as you can see, I've now got the monitor mounted and it's on. So what you need to do now that you have it on, and this is a very important step, find the correct Allen key that fits this one and tighten it down. In a temporary situation like this, it won't go anywhere. It's more of just safety. So once you have it in place, use the provided Allen key to tighten the set screw. And now you've got it successfully mounted. I did it a little too tight there because I can't move it. There we go. So that's one done. So let's go ahead and do the other one. So now move this all to the side and we've exposed the other spot. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Grab monitor number two, get out my screws. One, two, three, and four. We'll go ahead and install the first two screws. Leave them loose, just like that. And we'll now go ahead and get the monitor arm. Again, making sure we look at which side is up. This one, you know it's up because these are open here. So let's go ahead and click that in place. And we'll go ahead here, I forgot the screw. You put that in place just like that. You can then just nice and easy hold it up. Tighten the bottom one down, but leave it loose enough that it has some play so that the monitor arm moves around. And then the same thing for the last screw. So then we'll tighten down 
in a crisscross pattern. It doesn't really matter which way. You just want to make sure that all screws are equally tight, holding the VESA mount securely to the monitor. Because again, safety is a top priority here. Very important. Move the arm down here. Always take your time when you're mounting anything. Check and triple check your work. Better safe than sorry. All right. So now we are ready to get the mount off. Same thing. This one just cheap. Pulls right off. Was never a design I was a fan of. And now we are ready to mount the second monitor. So let's go ahead here and just install it. Being careful. And now we have both monitors mounted. You wanna be very careful Obviously, if you're doing it this way by yourself when you're using the monitor and lifting the monitor up, don't hold it by the screen. Do anything like that. The preferred method, of course, is to have someone help you to position, get the monitor mounted on the VESA mount. So now we've got two monitors on our dual monitor arm system. So we can go ahead here and adjust placement and height to get them how we want. So it takes some fine, you know, manipulation to get them how you want them to look. But I'll focus more on that a little later. I don't have to worry about that for purposes of this video. As you can see, if you like them concave, there's different ways to do it. You can lower them, bring the monitor out have this one to the side, and then have this one come in more, have them tilted, just like that, however you want. So cabling is the next part now. So we've got our monitors mounted. This one obviously needs to be tightened a little bit. Doesn't want to stay up on its own. So let's go ahead and tighten this one up here. Okay, so we've got our dual monitor arms in place. I tightened this one down so it stopped moving, and it is set how I like them. I typically work from a standing position when I'm using this desk, so I've got the monitors a little higher. You can angle them forward, bring them down. These things are very flexible in how you set your final placement, and it's entirely up to you. All that's left to do is to run your cables. You need to run a power cable and a video display cable to the monitor. So HDMI, display port, DVI, VGA, whatever you have. 90% of the newer monitors on the market now are HDMI or display port. So you want a cable long enough that can run through the monitor arm down and behind your desk, down to where your computer is. Or alternatively, if you have a laptop docking station port replicator to there. Same thing for a USB cable. If your monitors have USB ports, stuff like that, you'll need to um, use the USB cable and run it through as well so that you can have that connectivity if you so desire it. So that's it. I took you through the basic steps of unboxing your monitor arms, getting your table or desk prepared for the mounting. We mounted the base to the desk and then installed the monitor arms on the monitors and then placed the monitor arms on the base and aligned our final positions. Now again, final position is subjective to wherever you want it to be. These devices are great and are totally flexible with almost any type of monitor configuration. So that's it. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I will put the link to the Hawano dual monitor arm 
in the description for this video. As always, if anyone has any comments or questions or needs any type of mounting assistance or recommendations, please just drop a comment down below and I will do my best to help you out. If you could click that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be totally awesome. I'm gonna have new and exciting content, how to's, video game videos, and a whole bunch of cool stuff coming soon. I will see you around everybody. Have a great day.